हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ टू द पॉइंट टुडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज नेशनल क्लीन एयर प्रोग्राम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स सी वाइज इट इन द न्यूज Recently the Minister of State for Environment Forest and Climate Change said that around 97 cities out of 130 have shown improvement in the air quality in terms of particulate matter 10 concentrations during 2023-24 with the government's efforts under the National Clean Air Program. Now let's discuss about National Clean Air Program. It was launched by the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change in January 2019. It is the first ever effort in the country to frame a national framework for air quality management with a time-bound reduction target. The NCAP's goal is to reduce average particulate matter that is PM10 concentrations by 40% by 2026 in 131 cities initially aimed for a 20 to 40% reduction by 2024 the target was later extended to 2026 it covers 131 non attainment cities which were identified by the central pollution control board under the program rupees 16539 crore have been allocated for the period 2019 20 till 2025-26 pran that is portal for regulation of air pollution in non attainment cities is a portal for monitoring of implementation of ncap now let's discuss that what are non attainment cities under ncap non attainment cities are those that have fallen short of the national ambient air quality standards for over 5 years And double A Qs are the standards for ambient air quality with reference to various identified pollutant notified by the CPCB under the Air Prevention and Control of Pollution Act 1981. List of pollutants under N double A Qs are PM10, PM2.5, sulfur dioxide, nitrogen dioxide, carbon monoxide, ammonia, ozone, lead, benzene, benzopyrene. arsenic and nickel now let's have a look at challenges faced by ncap bureaucratic red tape complicated approval processes hinder timely implementation of pollution control measures delaying essential actions like procurement of equipment under utilization of funds Despite substantial allocations, cities often utilize only a fraction of the funds with some spending as little as 1% of their budgets on air quality initiatives. Incomplete data. Only 37% of cities have completed essential emissions inventory studies which are critical for identifying pollution sources and developing effective action plans. lack of standardized procedures the absence of uniform guidelines leads to inconsistencies in how cities implement pollution control measures complicating progress tracking skepticism about efficacy doubts regarding the effectiveness of certain measures such as smog towers create hesitance in decision making and commitment to action now lastly moving on to conclusion The NCAB is crucial for addressing India's severe air pollution crisis. However, its effectiveness is hindered by inconsistent implementation, underutilization of funds, and bureaucratic challenges. To achieve its ambitious targets, NCAB must adopt a comprehensive approach, emphasizing data-driven strategies and enhanced coordination among stakeholders. Now is the time for practice question. Consider the following statements about National Clean Air Program. One, it was launched by the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy. Two, the NCAP's goal is to reduce average particulate matter (PM10) concentrations by 70% by 2026 in 131 cities. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two, or neither one nor two? Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Thanks for watching. For more informative content like share and subscribe 
and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.